Hello everyone, I'm working on a first person shooter made in Godot and I have these Doom style sprites which can be seen from 8 different angles and I'm going to show how, how I set up my, my blender in order to render this very easily. So this is my blender setup but I have my 3D model in the center of the scene and it's being surrounded by all these 8 cameras. Uh, each one of them are rotated by 45 degrees because they are 8, so 360 degrees divided by 8 is 45. And each of the cameras have a specific name, as you can see in this list, they are from camera.001 to camera.008. And that makes them easy to be identified in the, in the following script, and they are, they are, they are clockwise in order so that I counterclockwise actually. It's camera 2, camera 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I have my model in, in the middle. So now if I would go ahead and choose one camera and render the, the model, it looks like this. And after I am happy with what I see, I, I check around and look at the model from different perspectives and I say, okay, this looks good. Now I want to render it and I don't want to render this, uh, this whole, um, all these steps manually. And I made this Python script, which I am going to share in the description below. More than that, the model also has several uh, animation steps. So I have these three states where it's moving and the fourth where it's opening its mouth, which looks some, something like this. And these are the keyframes from one to four. They're in here. This is the script. Um, first I declare the frames and I say the first frame is going to be called grab zero. The second one will be grab one and grab two. And the fourth one, it's when it's op mouth, it's open, and I called it byte. And then I, I, I call this function export frames, where I put the frames, which I just declared, uh, the path where uh, all my sprites will, uh, will be generated, and the name of this particular sprite. So the way export frames works is it gets uh, a list of strings which are the names of uh, each each animation frame the root path and the name of our sprite which is also going to be the name of the folder which we output to we iterate through all of those animation frames in this case there are four and we call export frame with the root path the name of the sprite the number of the frame which is uh, from 1 to 4 and the name of that animation frame. Export frame uh, will first set the frame using this function. It will first set the, the frame uh, in Blender to coincide with uh, that particular moment in time and then iterate through the 8 cameras that we have and we call this function rotate and render. The first parameter tells the index of the camera because it's from 1 to 8 in here. And the final path, which is the root path, uh, the name of the folder where we are going to save uh, this sprite, um, this folder called render, which will contain all of the uh, outputted PNGs, and the name of the frame would be one of these four in here. Uh, rotate and render will actually output the PNG itself. First we assemble the name of the new camera, so it's camera.00 plus that particular number from here from 1 to 8, which would be this parameter in here. Then we say, okay, this is the main camera for this current scene. And we select it from the list of objects with that particular name, again, from this list in here. Then we set the name, of the, the file path of the render using this function. So it's actually going to be output there, uh, plus the number of the angles. So from, from uh, 
uh, 1 to 8 and dot png and then we call the render function which is actually going to to render the model itself and this is the result so this is another example from another sprite it's called the walker and you can see the the, the render folder and for this particular case i had blink dead leg zero leg one leg two and stay and you can see that it has blink one through eight dead one through eight leg zero one through eight leg one one through eight leg two one through eight and stay one through eight and i'm going to say one through eight again you can see the same goes for the grub so it's byte one through eight grub zero one through eight and so on and so forth and then i assemble uh, these sprites in a, in a sprite sheet and I import that in Godot and that's pretty much it and this is how the end result looks like so this is the grub that we just saw being animated this is how it moves and the angle changes if my position changes the same goes with this other creature Thank you for watching. Hope it's hope it is useful.